What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out TLC Auto Detailing. They will be working on the Pure Function Supra and also his MR2. So without further ado, let's go in and meet Ron and check this thing out. Yep, that's where I feel like you see people take the heat gun so they turn black again. Yep. But I'm told to not do that sometimes. It depends on the plastic. That type of plastic, probably not. Okay. Uh, so there's different products that work for that. Um, you know, the lower plastic, there's different things we can do for that. We could even put up on the quick jacks so they'll be prepared by that. And actually pull the wheels off, clean the wheel wells, restore the wheel wells. Like there's a yep. lot of things we can go through. And if you look at everything, the overspray and the there. overspray is a huge for this car. Yeah. Or if there's anything that you could say, like I could spray on it to like start diluting it, or to, like to. Uh, it depends, because like with that, you might have to use like a heavy lacquer thinner to break the paint apart. Then it'll dull out the plastic. Then you have to restore the plastic. Yeah. So it really depends on the severity of how bad the paint's stuck in there. Um, so let's go over, I guess, since we don't have to worry about that. What's glass? Glass, glass, glass. I hate fucking way it looks right now. Even right now, I can see like that's on there's stuff inside here. Okay. And it's. So, so driving me insane. Well, what would be your next step? What would you want to do next before we do glass? Okay. Yeah, it's glass. As long as you do it right, now you can see obviously what you had on the inside. inside yeah. Now inside you're going to work a different direction now. Oh, okay. The reason why you want to do that is you're going to be limited sometimes obviously when you get into tight areas, but you're going to be able to see where your mistakes are happening. Okay. So if we're doing this, make sure you spray directly on the towel. Never spray on the glass, right? I, I, I would never recommend it. You have sensitive dashes, products, things like that. I'm gonna actually show it from the outside here so it's easy for people to see. Now, obviously when you have a tight gauge bezel, you know, I have small hands. Sure, it fits in here very well. So like outer edges, you might have to work like this. Then we'll take the dry towel. You really gotta buff it off. Note to self. Well, that's the biggest thing is you have all the residue product. Most people just sit there and wiping. All you're yeah, doing is you're pushing product all over the place. So you wanna have a secondary towel to actually remove any of the hazing, the products, and actually putting the glass. And most of the time, you have to validate, go outside, look at it, check to see if you have anything in the tight nose of trannies. You know, obviously, like a tight area here, sure. you might not be able to reach, and you're almost going to have the streets. They have different, like, arms, but what you can do is you can try to feed this in, Yep. like this. Sometimes you won't get it, your hands will touch it, you'll have to touch up areas like that. But you can kind of feed something in there. I've seen people even take, like, a painter stick to, like, wedge uh. it in there. Um, was it the 308 Ferrari has that much gap between this bezel and the glass that the only way to do it is to take a tip of it through a thinner like shaped out piece of plastic to fit it in there. Gotcha. So, but pretty simple once you get the concept it's just validating it but it's using a good glass cleaner. Gotcha. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there the Nanolex, Sonex, um, HD glass they all work phenomenal so. Perfect. 
You want to try it on the other side? Yeah. Get the hang I of do. it. <clears throat> so you have your wet one, so just fold it. You say this side. Spray it onto the towel first. Do the outside of the window first. Okay. Just one squirt, right? Uh, you can saturate quite a bit because you want to remove all the residue. So go ahead and soak that whole flat part. All right. Good. Yep. Now work it back and forth. So left to right. And the reason you fold the towels and forth is if you do it like this, you're not stripping no, away back just up, the tip of your fingers. Up and down or? Nope, just keep pushing that way to remove it all. Okay. Now take this after you're done. Okay. I'll take the bottle too and just dry wipe it and clean it off, essentially like polishing it. So you don't want to go back in that motion. Now you're breaking the pattern of what you did. Ah, okay. Because when you go all over the place, it's hard to distinguish where your wiping marks are coming from. And then the same concept will fall to like the inside of the window and so forth. Okay, so I'll take the dry one for you. And careful, your sunglasses are in the passenger side. So on this one, you know, usually working from the passenger side is easier. I break them up into twos. I see people try to do the whole windshield from one side. I prefer to do things in its proper section just so you can see everything. So go up and down on this since you went back and forth on the other one. Yep. And when you get to the trim, you can obviously run the edge of the trim like that. Yep. All right. Now you use that and then dry buff it. And this, the dry buffing is the more tedious part because this is where you'll be chasing streaking. Sometimes it flash dries, leaves a little residue. Yep, those are always a hard part and sometimes there's limitations really of what can be done. You know, usually having like a stoner makes a glassing, sometimes that works great for there. Shit, is he, that's one thing too. Can I see that real quick? Yep, one I second. try to keep it off the glass itself. Okay, sorry, I was just getting the bugs out on there. See, there's like trying to get down in there and I just hit my hand on it. Yeah, it, it's really hard, and the problem is like sometimes your hand, your arm touches the glass, but. How does it look? Looks good. Okay. Yeah, see, for me that looks crystal clear, but like then I'll get it out somewhere, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look right. But that's what you need to do, and this is where it is. Um, fluorescent lights versus other lights don't really show all the stuff in glass. So you really want to see how your glass looks. You know, it's like your window here, this one's dirty. You can see all the smearing wow. inside there, right? Look at that. So use a light inspection to check your smear marks. You can see glare through this. It's blinding staring in this light. We can dim down a little bit. But you but can still, check to see what you have in glares. Obviously, you have wiper marks that happen over time. Yep. But this is the validation part. It's like people, you know, the only way to see this is if you're outside. But cleaning glass outside can be kind of a nightmare. But you can check through and see if you have any streaking. You know, if you're sitting in the car struggling and sweating, yeah. humidity, body heat's gonna fog up the window yeah. and things like that. So, you know, when you get through this window, you can see all the streaks in it. Yeah, it's bad. So those are all from being pulled down on the felt probably from the window liner, but um, using a, like a pen light or something to validate your work is always a good idea, having cool. a light source. These are great tools for everything. Like we tell people use these for interiors because like fluorescent lights make everything look great, but you know, you're sitting here staring at the wheel well here, it's like, okay, or the side well of the door when you're vacuuming, uh, now you can see all the dirt. You yep. know, the goal is you, you want to have the light source to see everything you can to validate your work, inspect it. It's funny, driving here, I was like, my car seems so clean. And then literally the sun was behind me and hitting the dash, and I'm like, oh God. Well, I see every thing, imperfection like, all of a sudden. People like with a um, basic interior detail, man, people miss the marks. They don't clean out inside, little areas inside here, yep. inside the vents, you'll have, dirt piled up into these cranks. That's where we have I, the tips for and everything to clean those out. I just, just use a board, like a, I just crinkle up a boar's hairbrush and literally go through it and I take yep. the cleaner and I went through all the buttons and like through everything. The useful thing is like using air to yeah. chuck out things. So like- Does steam we, work for that or no? It can, it just depends on the type of st steamer. Like the uh, BX steamer we have is a great steamer. It's not powerful enough. It's not a dry steam, so it creates a lot of moisture. You gotcha. damage things. You have a lot of BMWs with a soft touch plastic. Um, soft touch plastic can easily get ripped apart as you know with like BMWs you seem like fraying apart over yep. the years. Steam can damage those certain chemicals can so 
Alright guys, so John, thank you very much buddy. I appreciate everything you did. Um, the car looks fantastic guys, like seriously. Uh, you'll, obviously as you saw in the video here, the car literally looks brand new. I thought the car was really wrecked. Um, there were some spots in the car that John found that were a little low. I guess he measured the paint and saw that some of the spots on it were a little lower. Um, actually half of the front bumper here is some of its what, clear coat and some That's of its single stage. And then single stage on that side. Why? I don't know. Obviously the car is 25 years old, so you're going to have little inconsistencies like that. But for all those issues, and we spent, or I should say we, you spent how much time on it here today? Maybe three or four hours tops. In um, three or four hours you get this and end result. I am literally blown away how good the car looks. I couldn't be any happier. Uh, I want John though to kind of run down exactly what he went through today. Just a quick run through of what we went through and what, yeah. and what you did. So we started off with a decontamination wash, clean all the surfaces, made sure, um, you know, double check with the clay bar, did everything we needed to do. We did a light machine polish, so we're not achieving perfection out of this. There are still defects within this paint. Um, the goal behind today was to restore depth, clarity, and gloss to the paint. So there are still deeper scratches, things like that, that are going to be an issue in the paint. But the goal behind it was to remove the oxidation and really kind of put a shine to it. Yeah. Um, kind of give it a little bit more characteristic, make it look clean. and. You know, the end result, it's more an acceptable car to drive, so. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, again, John, I seriously can't thank you enough, buddy. And to everyone out there, thank you all very much. What are your hours here, by the way? Uh, we're Monday through Friday, um, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m., and then Saturday by appointment only. Yep, and this is located, we're in Dallas, Virginia right yep. now, correct? We're yep. in Dallas, Virginia. Two Dallas Airport. Yep, right next to the Dallas Airport. So guys, once again, thank you again, John. All right, guys, we just got back from TLC Auto Detail. John, you are amazing. You definitely know your craft. And Ryan, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this great experience. I can't wait to see what is to come of this. The Super is gonna look awesome when it's done. The MR2 looks amazing, huge difference. Kudos to you, John, for knowing your craft and uh, definitely taking a great leap of faith and starting your own business. I'll link all this stuff down below. If you guys need any detail or film solution or wraps or anything like that, please contact John. He's a hell of a guy. He'll go to bat for you and uh, you guys will get a great, great experience and a great product in itself. As always guys, if this is your first time stopping in, please like it and also subscribe below and we'll see you on the next video with Body by Bolka. Thank you, have a great day.